Hey guys, I'm hoping this uh, video is going to be beneficial for someone out there that may be looking uh, to disassemble a Harrington & Richardson self-loading 32 caliber pistol. Uh, to begin with, I am not a gunsmith, I'm just an enthusiast, and this was my grandpa's gun, and I wanted to get it working for my father for his birthday. So I was determined to get this thing working. Uh, again, uh, right off the bat, magazine out of the weapon. Weapon is completely cleared. Um, I'm going to have to put the magazine back in there because I just pulled the this, this slide back too far. You cannot remove the slide and barrel off this weapon with it uh, in firing mode. And I guess maybe I was incorrect. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so, in any case, to remove the slide and the barrel from the bottom portion of this weapon, you need to pull back on the trigger guard and down. There's a um, top portion of the trigger guard that goes up into the top of the barrel that keeps it in place. It's that simple. It's the easiest gun, I tell you. My Mark III is not that easy to disassemble, especially a brand new one. Um, the problem that I had with this weapon was there was so much debris and gunk in here. The firing pin, uh, the the hammer was stuck in firing mode, so I wasn't able to properly disassemble this thing. Uh, if things were working normally, I might have been able to do it by pushing the. There's a push pin in here, and pull the, the retaining plate off the back of the slide and remove all this, which again, I. It's not hard to do. It's fairly simple. You just got to take pressure off of that plate, hold it down, and that spring's very strong. So if you have a wooden vise to stick it in, you may want to do that because you don't want this to shoot out all over the place. And there you go. There's a coil spring for the slide, coil spring for the firing pin mechanism, and I'll just go ahead and pull that out. There's your firing pin mechanism. There's the portion that locks behind the hammer when it's cocked. <clears throat> and that's where it locks on the back portion of that. And when this is actually with the magazine in it, trigger fires like that. It pushes back on the grip safety top portion of that, which is on the top half of the uh, hammer and it pushes it down. There's also a spring underneath that as well. There's a spring that comes up from the grip safety into the top portion. There's a little tab inside there that fits in the notch of the bar. And it, it can only go in in one way. You can see it, it's got spring to it. It doesn't go up. The only way it goes up is because that bar there has that spring in it, as I said before. And when that happens, that's when the grip safety is working properly with the magazine in it, and it's able to fire. Okay. Reassembling is just as easy as pulling it apart. simple put it back together you can see it still functions properly now <clears throat> if you want to pull the grip safety out there are three uh, drift pins that need to come out this drift pin is the hammer pivot point this one locks the back side of the hammer down the bottom one is a pivot point for the grip safety, and this locks the butt of the grip safety from popping up. Okay, so these three here need to come out in order for that grip safety to come out. I'm not going to do it. I've already done it several times, but trust me, that's how it comes apart. So with that said, I hope it was all good. This, I'm sorry. I hope this will help you, and good luck.
Take care.